And just like that, JJ, I found a whole diamond! He was so gigantic! He was so radiant! But imagine, he fell into the lava. This just can't be happening. Can you believe that? Look, when, what is it there? It's a zombie and the little dragon not happening. Where did the little dragon come from? And why is a zombie attacking a dragon? It's very strange. It's like a zombie is bullying him. We need to stop this. Hey, zombies, get out of here. Yeah, get out of here, zombie. Ah, ha, ha. He fell and died to his death. Ha, ha, ha. It's pretty high up here, isn't it? What's the baby dragon doing here? It's so amazing that it's so small and so unusual. Hmm, I wonder if he has parents. I hope they are here somewhere around, so they will come and take their kid with them. Oh, there they are. Look, Papa Dragon and Pink Mama Dragon. Are they so similar to each other? I wonder where they came from. Thank you for saving our shield. Uh, we don't know what we would have done without you. You came so on time, and we seem to be a little late with this. But since you came so timely because of our son, we are very grateful to you. We don't even know how to thank you, but I have a little suggestion for you. How about you spend the day in our dragon lair? It's very cool there. It's very beautiful. Mikey, let's see what they have in their lair. I'm very interested. JJ, do you think this is a good idea? Yes, I'm sure it's a good idea because they're so kind. Okay, then let's fly. Okay. I'm going to sit on this black dragon. He'll carry me on his paws. And we flew. Whoa-hoo! It's so cool here. We're flying so fast. And you, Mikey, will fly on the pink dragon. I'll be on black. It's so fast here. Wow. Six and a half hours later. Ooh, ooh Georgia, get down. Please. I'm so tired. My back is hurting. Oh, yes, that's much better. Damn it, I'm so tired. It's just unbearable how we're going to get through this lava lake if I'm tired of flying and carrying you on my back. <gasps> hmm, I don't think we have any other choice. Listen, JJ, there's an old story that all humans actually used to be dragons, but because of evolution, they turned into humans. Right now, there is one unknown fruit that can turn a human back into a dragon. Please go and find him, my dear wife. So that's what I was talking about before. All people were dragons, just like I am now. But because of evolution during its origin and study, people became smaller and switched to walking with two legs. So they became what they are now. But dragons are the truth. Dragons, this is the base. Dragons are the foundation, so we stay the way we are. We love to fly. So you're telling me that before, all humans were once dragons? Wow, this can't be happening. It's just amazing. Mikey, can you believe this? This story is unusual, but it turns out to be true. Because have you ever seen talking dragons before? Me too. It seems that his wife is approaching, and she seems to have brought us these fruits. I wonder what they taste like. Look, these are enchanted golden apples. I wonder what will happen to them if we eat them. Let's taste them. I wonder where they came from. So yum yum and all all. My head starts to spin, and my eyes start to get dark. Wow, JJ, I'm getting sick. What is it? What is it? Wow. Oh, Mikey, where are we? I feel so different. My body is so big and wide. Am I a dragon? Wow, look, I'm a red dragon. Just like my favorite color. And you're a green dragon. Just like the color of a green turtle. Wow, Mikey, this is just incredible. This fruit really works, and it really made us dragons. Even my eyes are still as blue as they used to be. Was I a red dragon with blue eyes in my previous life? It's just incredible how it all fits together. Let's try to fly. And wow, look, I really can fly. Also so fast. Can you fly too, Mikey? It's just incredible. Wow, this canyon is just amazing. There is so much lava here and such unusual structures with spikes. What's that up there? Look, it's a giant one. Let's go fly. Let's see what kind of dragon this red dragon is. Can we see what it is? We will be fast, I promise. We will be very fast and very soon. And in the meantime, take a break. Let your back rest a little. 
Let's go fly. What kind of dragon is so red? Wow, it's so big. And there are so many spikes on it. It's just amazing, Mikey. Look, his wings are so wide. They are so white, so thin. They probably let him fly high and fly fast. Most likely, he is a very old dragon. We should become like him in the future. I hope we can become as strong as him in the future. Look, it's like this. Volcanoes are coming out here. There's so much magma and lava here. It's just amazing. All right, guys, let's fly to your base. Thank you for making us dragons. And now, let's hit the road. Hooray! Day two. Wow, JJ, where are we? Look, this island is incredible. It's like heaven. There is so much water here. There are also flying dragons here. These gardens are so beautiful. It's literally like the gardens of paradise. I wonder what kind of building it is. And it's so small for ordinary dragons. Look, there's a little dragon inside. Most likely this is a building for small dragons. It's like they grow them there. Wow, that's interesting. How did they come up with such a thing? And who built all this if the dragons are too big for that? Hmm. There are still big giant fire torches in the corners. They are most likely covering everything here. And there's a giant ring of earth up there. And the stones. They're so warm. Most likely the dragons sleep on them. And I think we should get our dose of sleep too, JJ. Because this flight was very long. This transformation from human to dragon took a lot of my strength. Aren't you tired, JJ? Let's take a short break and rest. Day three. All right, Mikey, that's our job. Since we took a short break from these dragons' paradise, we have to repay them with their favor. Look, over there are the villages of these people who kidnapped the dragon child. And we have to avenge our dragons because they sheltered us and made us dragons. Literally, the highest point of human evolution. Being a dragon is much better than being an ordinary person. Therefore, we must return their price to them. Since these people stole our child, that is not ours, but the child of these dragons who helped us become dragons, we must help them by exterminating this village. Do you agree with this idea, Mikey? I think it's just lovely. Yes, JJ! That sounds like a good idea! And since we are dragons now, we have good abilities in the form of a fireball, for example. Wait, where is this dragon going? Is he going to do what I'm afraid of? Oh no, look! He's flying towards the lava! Does he really want to commit- Oh no, he really is! So we have to avenge him and his child. Let's do it, JJ. I totally agree with your idea, Mikey. Let's fly to these people as soon as possible and destroy their village. Hurry up, Mikey. Since they are quite close here and we dragons can fly, we will do it quickly. Let's fire a rocket launcher at their houses. Damn. I think I'm running out of bullets already. A minigun won't do much here. So we'll use this gun. It is very painful and very powerful. Let's do it. Bam. <laughs> 